We are back on the jet ski scooter and hopefully this is the last episode. Uh, I kind of want to get this thing done and driving it because I'm really excited to try to drive it. Uh, hopefully it all works out good, but we're going to finish it up first before we even go on our test drive. Don't follow me. That's not what you're supposed to do, but we're going to send it anyway. By the end of this episode, it's going to be looking like a, a brand new jet ski that has a wheels on it, <laughs> hopefully. With the whole design scheme, I'm going to go for a classic look. Uh, all my other sea doos have a very custom look to it. And I mean, they still look like jet skis, but at the same time, they don't really fit that whole jet ski style to it. So I bought some replica decals for this older sea doo So hopefully it's going to look good. We're going to be putting those on there along with painting the whole thing. We don't have to use a special paint because this is not going back in the water. So we don't have to use a gel coat or any kind of really hard paint, just normal white automotive paint should work pretty good for that. Also new seats, uh, I have a new handlebar I'm gonna put on. And the hardest part about this build is integrating stuff you need for a scooter. So like a headlight, turn signals, all this kind of stuff. And I still want it to look like a jet ski. So that's gonna be the most difficult part. I'm thinking, uh, this is what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna integrate a headlight into this hood along with the speedometer and tachometer and, and the original scooter gauge. I'm gonna put all that back into this hood and hopefully make it look good and still like a jet ski just have to have a headlight i'm not planning on driving this at night but i want it to be functional at least and somewhat visible you could just throw a light pod in the front and call it a day which a lot of people do but i want it to look like a jet ski still so we're gonna do that also i have other ideas for this just a couple extra little fun details i'm gonna throw into it later on but right now i just want to work on this hardest part which is integrating all this stuff into the hood and hopefully it looks good along with putting the new handlebars on i want to do that too so we're gonna work on this and then maybe take the body off and start working on getting the body prepped for paint. So let's do that.
That doesn't look too bad. Uh, it has a headlight and turn signals now. I mean, that's all that really matters. It looks pretty factory looking, I'd say. Uh, this is my first try ever doing anything this advanced with fiberglass and like fiberglass molding. Uh, I think it looks pretty good for that. I mean, it's not perfect by any means. There's a lot of just like kind of gaps and uh, not super smooth bodywork, but it's really hard to do it on this, especially since all this is like plastic and like the body filler wasn't wanting to stick to it. So if I were to wrap the whole thing in fiberglass and then started from scratch and spent a lot of time on it, I could probably make it pretty perfect, but this is just going on a scooter. I'm not really too concerned about it. It's not really anything that's gonna be show car worthy, but it functions exactly how I want it to. I wanted a headlight, turn signals, and the speedometer up here. So that's all I was really concerned about. I think it looks pretty good for all that. It took a long time. Uh, I think I would have rather just threw a headlight in there and then bought a random GPS speedometer, but this all works and it would all like straight plug and play with the actual scooter. So that makes it kind of nice. All the body work is done on the scooter. There's just a couple chips in it, just a little bit of body filler and then sand it down. It should have been fine. I'm not trying to make this thing perfect either. You know, it's gonna be on the road, so probably rocks and everything is gonna chip it, but I want it to look good and want it to be all one color. So right now it's time to paint some of this stuff. We gotta sand it down one more time, get it all smooth, and then we can start painting. This is gonna go back white. Everything is gonna be white. And this is gonna go a color, haven't decided yet, probably either yellow or blue or like a, or like a turquoise color not really sure yet same thing with some of these other little parts like this is going to go to same color as the hood same thing with the grab handle back here i'm just going to paint that and everything else after that should be pretty easy so just sand it down and get ready for paint to do that i need to take this body off but first i have this thing that i want to go ahead and line up this is just a universal windshield washer kit and the reason i putting that on there is because with the newer Yamahas, or like newer than this Yamahas, they have a little stream that comes out in the back, like a little rooster tail that squirts out water. I thought it'd be kind of funny to have a little stream that comes out whenever I press a button. So if I'm in front of a car, I can like <laughs> squirt the windshield or something. I thought it'd be funny. Uh, I read that on one of the comments a couple videos ago. I really wanted to do it. So decided to buy that kit. Hopefully it works. I'm not sure if it's gonna be powerful enough but we're gonna test it all out and see if it works. I just think it's gonna be pretty cool and funny. So we're gonna mount all that up too and get that ready so I don't have to keep taking the body on and off to make sure it clears a bunch of stuff in here. So we're gonna do that, get it ready for paint, paint it, and then start putting this stuff back together.
Well, it definitely looks like an old Sea-Doo again. Uh, the good old, though, the freshly painted, <laughs> renovated, retro look, though. Not the gross, moldy, old look. <laughs> it looks really good. I actually really like it. Fresh coat of automotive paint on it. I'm not putting anything super expensive on here just because I don't want to, I don't want to put a bunch of money into this. Uh, hood actually turned out pretty good for considering what it looked like before, you know, first time doing fiberglass work. It actually looks pretty good, I think. It looks, I think it looks pretty factory. Um, let me know what you guys think, if it looks good. All the graphics are new from a website. Can't remember the website name, but you can buy a bunch of different kind of old graphics on it to replace all your old nasty ones. It comes with all the warning stickers too, which makes it really nice, you know, replace pretty much everything. The only thing it didn't come with was this one, but mine was in good enough shape, so I just taped around it and painted around it. I put the trim back on it and I'm missing one of the corner pieces. I could, do not know where it is, so I might have to order that, no big deal. This trim actually is pretty rough shape. It's probably the worst thing on air. I tried cleaning it up with a heat gun and I just ended up burning it a little bit. It didn't really clean it up that much, so just got to deal with it. You know, it doesn't look too bad. These things shrink too, so it doesn't make them go up all the way. It bothers me a little bit, but not enough to spend $100 on new trim. New grills, painted the hood, the gas tank, and this thing. Now this thing, it looks pretty rough and it is actually in rough shape, but if you buy a used one of these in good shape, it's about $80 and I do not want to spend $80 on something like that. So I just ended up putting a fresh coat of paint on it. It looks better, still not perfect, but this thing is not perfect. So not really too concerned about it. Messed up the hood a little bit right here from opening it. It hits it whenever I open it. So that kind of is a bummer. So, oh well, maybe I'll put a sticker on it or something to make it look a little bit better. But other than that, the hood works good. I had to order the little catch right here because I don't have one. Other than that, everything works great. I gotta put the gauge cluster in there and then all the buttons are gonna go right here once I hook all that up. As for the frame, I painted all the bare metal so it won't rust anymore. Put a new battery in there. You may notice all the wiring too. I actually added on so I can run all my new lights. Also extended all the wires to the gauge cluster. That way I can run it up through the hood. The one thing I did not think about though until after I started with the hood is the speedometer cable. I don't think it's gonna reach all the way up. Uh, if it does, it's probably not gonna let the hood open might open like to right there so that's a bummer either i have to find a longer speedometer cable or just deal with it and not have a hood that opens or functions i kind of wanted it for storage up here but uh it's not really that big of a deal i don't think if i can find a longer speedometer cable then i'll order that if not then i'm just going to deal with it but this body is ready to go back on hopefully for the last time and you throw this body on hook up all the wiring hook up the lights tail lights speedometer cable uh throttle all that kind of stuff brakes <laughs> definitely need that hooked up and then hopefully test drive it. We'll see how it works out. So let's throw this body on and fingers crossed it all works.
it's done and it looks freaking awesome. It looks so good. Everything about it just looks so awesome. Everything works. Uh, I mean, for the most part, it works. Let me explain the buttons for you guys. Right here is what squirts the water out the back. I thought that was such a cool idea you guys had and I had to do it, so it works really well. Uh, I can't wait to try it on some cars whenever I'm driving it on the road and stuff. I think that'd be really funny. Uh, just someone, something to get a kick out of, you know. <laughs> I think the people behind me will think it's funny too. Uh, this is to turn it off when it's on. This silver button over here is to start it. This one is the flashers, the emergency flashers. This is the underglow lights. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All the turn signals are up here. All those work. The horn works. Uh, only thing that doesn't work right now is the speedometer, but that's because the cord isn't long enough, like I explained earlier. You may notice I got the seat on it. I actually originally bought a blue seat, decided I didn't like it, it didn't really match too much. The only kind of blue that's on the seat do is right here and a little bit in the graphics, and I just thought it looked really weird, especially since everything else is purple and yellow. So I bought another seat that was closer to the color yellow. I took the seat off of my other seat do and just tested it on here to make sure I liked the yellow, and I did. So I bought a closer matching yellow. It's not perfect, it's a little bit lighter, but I think it's fine for what this is. It's not perfect by any means, but it's it's pretty fun. It's a, it's a cool little ride, and it's a nice little scooter for me to go into town and get some stuff, get pick up some parts from the store or whatever. I think it's gonna be really cool, and I'm excited to actually drive it on the road. I have my motorcycle license, but I don't have it physically yet. Uh, I had to schedule an appointment with a DMV to go pick it up, and it's like a month behind, so I have to wait like until next month before I can go get it, but I, technically have it. I just have to get it on my license. Uh, just be a little bit careful, I guess, if I go out. I don't need to get pulled over on this thing. And it uh, gets a lot of attention, so I can see me being pulled over with this pretty easily. But all the lights and stuff work, so I really doesn't have any reason to be pulled over. But this is a fun little quick build. I guess it would have been quick if I had my full focus on it. It probably would only took a couple weeks to actually do, but like I said, I'm, I have other projects and more important stuff going on, so this is kind of put in the back burner until now. But it's done and it looks really cool and I can get it out of my garage now which is nice. If you guys want to see more of this I might post another video, I might not depending on how it does or whatever but I'll be posting it on my Instagram mostly. You guys can follow me there if you want to. If not I will catch you guys in the next episode uh, on pontoon videos and on car videos and other stuff, other cool stuff in the future. So you guys can check me out on Instagram if you want to. If not Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you guys for being a part of my channel and being a part of my builds. I love it so much. All right. See you guys later.